I'm Colleen Fitzgibbon, and I'm just finishing a film called Jonathan Silver, Infidel in the Studio. Jonathan Silver was a sculptor who made very large figurative installations uh, and received a lot of art press in the 1980s about his work. The work is fairly dark and haunting and has a Freudian slant to it. Jonathan's artwork was about his concept of the realms of hell, I believe. He had a very dark sense of the world, probably coming through his years of psychoanalysis. Early in life, he had made a deal with his mother to drop out of high school and instead go to daily visits with a psychiatrist. Jonathan went to Columbia University to study art history and to get his PhD. And he studied under Meyer Shapiro. Uh, but during the process, he gave up wanting to be an art historian and became an artist himself. The definition of installation really grew up in the 1960s. And what it meant was an environment in which people could move and an artwork in which they could participate. It means treating pieces as characters in a tableau. In other words, the pieces group differently to make what I would really like to call a sculptural opera. I think young artists and young art historians would benefit from this film because there's little access to Jonathan's work now, which is still all very intriguing. One of the things you do discover when you address mortality from this proximity is you do wake up to the fact that mortality is the run of human experience, the inevitable. It all of a sudden seems startling to you that people treat it as such an exception when it's anybody, everybody's inevitable destiny. And we persist in treating it as something extremely unusual and remarkable in every case where it occurs, which is every case.